guys and guyesses, welcome back to my channel, The Tarative. Thank you for stopping by. In this video, I'll be sharing some septum stretching tips for beginners. Now, I just want to say thank you to Kitty Vlogs Gaming who suggested this video to me. I do hope you enjoy watching this video and find that it helps you with your stretching journey. I would just like to say before getting into the main part of the video that this is very much me just sharing tips that I think you guys will find helpful or useful for starting to stretch your septum. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Tip number one is make sure you know what size you've had your septum pierced at. I say this because then you know what size taper and what size jewellery you need to buy for your first stretch. Typically, septums are pierced of 1.2 millimetres, which is equivalent to a 16 gauge, or 1.6 millimetres, which is equivalent to a 14 gauge, but this does vary, so definitely check it out before you start buying the stuff for your first stretch. Even if you have stretched your septum before, it's still vital to know what size you are currently, therefore you know the appropriate size jewellery and taper you need for your next stretch. Tip number two is don't skip sizes. This is a really important one. If you've had your septum pierced at 1.2 millimetres, the first size you should be stretching to is 1.6 millimetres and not skipping to 2 millimetres. It may sound like a really small increment, however, going from 1.2 to 1.6, that is still stretching the piercing by a third. If you go straight from 1.2 to 2 millimetres, that's increasing the whole size by two thirds, which is just far too much to begin with. If you do skip sizes, you could easily end up tearing your septum, which would be incredibly painful and also it can lead to scar tissue buildup, therefore making future stretches much harder in the long run and it's just not worth it. This is why number one is also really important because if you don't know what size you are currently, you can accidentally buy the wrong jewellery for the next stretch and end up skipping a size accidentally. Tip number three is lubrication and plenty of it. Stretching is always easier and smoother going when using lubrication, so this is a must have. I personally prefer using KY Jelly, which I got from Amazon, but there will be other lubrications you can use as well. Tip number four is preparation. By this I mean make sure you have everything ready to carry out the stretch before you start. Ideally, have your taper, jewellery and lubrication in arm's reach of you. I personally prefer having everything in front of me. I put a towel down on my desk and put everything on that. Also, I have a mirror so I can see myself clearly. That's why you'll notice in some of my stretching videos I'm not looking at the camera directly. That's because I have my mirror either just behind it or off to one side. I feel that if you have everything ready and set out to start with, then you can focus the stretch at hand. Tip number five is listen to your body. By this I mean when you are stretching, if it's really hurting, stop. When you're stretching, it can be uncomfortable and it can be sensitive. However, if you are experiencing sharp pains or a large amount of discomfort, this could mean you're stretching too quickly. And if you carry on, you could end up tearing your septum. If it's really hurting, stop, put your smaller jewelry back in and continue again in another month or so. Number six is patience. This is something you really need to have when you are stretching. When you're actually stretching your septum with the taper, just apply gentle pressure to the taper rather than using brute force to try and push it through as quickly as possible. This is so you don't end up tearing your septum. Also, going slowly makes for a much more comfortable stretching experience. As they say, slow and steady wins the race. Number seven is Patience. Yes, number seven is the same as number six. This time I mean you have to have patience in between stretches. Stretching is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. So even if your septum feels absolutely fine a week after your last stretch, that does not mean it is ready to stretch again. Even with ears, you shouldn't really be going that quickly. The amount of time you have to wait in between stretches will vary person to person, but will most likely be at least two to three months. The longer you leave it in between stretches, the more amount of time your septum has to recover from the last stretch. And also it will start naturally relaxing and stretching yourself around the current jewellery so the longer you leave it the easier the stretch should be the next time. And remember, if you're unsure of what you're doing at any point, just ask for help. If you have any questions or queries about a stretch, then go to a reputable body piercer or ask someone who is experienced in stretching their own septum. You don't have to stretch your own septum yourself. Most body piercers will offer stretching for a small fee and also they can advise you as to the best type of jewellery to put in. So that brings us to the end of the video. I do hope for those of you who are wanting to start stretching their septum that these tips will be useful and helpful to you. If you do have any questions, then please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then remember to leave it a thumbs up. If you'd like to keep up to date with me in between videos, then remember to check out my Twitter and Instagram. The username is the same as my YouTube one, so the Tarative. I just want to wish you guys happy and safe stretching and I'll see you next week.